Hello all YouTubers, welcome to another tutorial by APU913. Um, on today's tutorial we're going to show you how to create this cool smoky looking effect on Adobe Photoshop CS3. Um, what you're going to need for this tutorial is a couple of things which you can get by viewing my other videos. Um, you guys can go view how to get free brushes and um, that's about it. That's all you need is are these smoke brushes. I'll open up a new document and show you what these bad boys can do. Uh, you guys don't have to do this. I'm just going to show you what these brushes can do. Now you can download these brushes from where I told you uh, deviantart.com we're just going to show you what these brushes you can do. I'll lower the size a little bit. It's one brush. Open up another one. It's another one. When when you zoom in, you can really see the smoky, the smoky look. We're just gonna zoom out. And um, so yeah, once you have these brushes, um, come back here and we can get started. So remember deviantart.com. <sighs> okay, so just open up a new document. 1280 by 720 HD 720p and when we have that document we're just gonna zoom out so you guys can actually see what I'm doing um, we're gonna go to our brushes and get the smoke brushes that we said um, you don't want it to be too gigantic I mean you want definitely want randomness have one really big one really small get some ran randomness going uh, make a nice use of your canvas but you definitely don't want all big all small you definitely don't want to see the bottom of the smoke you just want to see that it's rising up um and just hit them hit them random randomly you can double them up obviously but just don't make sure that you don't have like two of them right next to each other so it's obvious that it's uh like that right there you can see that that's clearly the same smoke and that's 100 percent impossible in real life so I'm just gonna do it real quickly right here. Put and put one right there, and put a little right there. Then we're gonna take some smaller ones. Uh, let's get that one. I'm gonna fill the back with it. Alright, that looks uh that looks good enough. Um of course you can do other stuff here, add some more stuff, but for right now oh, whoops, I forgot to double click my background layer, unlock it. Um and there we go, that's the smoke. Next go down to the new layer icon. Let me get rid of this brush. Alright, yeah, go down to the new layer icon, click a couple layers, you're gonna need about three. On layer one, um you're gonna get the gradient tool. On layer one, you're gonna get the gradient tool and click the drop down box then click the little arrow and go all the way down to spectrums it'll be all the way to the bottom but once you're at spectrums um, you can get um, these rainbows so that's what we're gonna have we're gonna have playing with rainbows and we're gonna click on our layer one and drag a gradient from the left to the right you guys can hold down shift but I'm kind of holding my mic so pretty hard to so this is what your layer panel should look like smoke gradient blank blank take the gradient layer and turn the blending mode to overlay and there we go that's the look that we're looking for um, I don't really like the white space we're just have to deal with it for the t for the tutorial as you can see in my other picture I I made sure there's a lot of like a lot less lo white space but for right now we're just gonna have to deal with that and take your text tool and drag out anything that you would like to write I'm just gonna quickly write a p u G F X. Oh, whoops! X did not fit. Let me make my text box a little bigger. Whoops! Why is there why is there a Z? And drag that to around the middle. Um, remember, Control click the layer. That way, we can get all the pixels on that layer. 
make a new layer and drag it under the text layer. So right now, here is what you whoops. Here is what your um. That's what your layer panel is supposed to look like. And when you're back up here, whoops, let's select it again. Now, once you have it selected with the marching ants, click the layer 4, which is a layer under APUG effects or whatever text you have, and click Edit Stroke. And we're going to turn it to 15 pixels and the color black. I'm using 15 pixels because I have a pretty big canvas size, 1280 by 720. Um, uh, if you have a smaller canvas size, you should probably go less than that. 15 pixels it probably isn't even that big, so you know you, you can always go more. But make sure it's not like too big or too thinny or too skinny. What am I saying? Now that we have a stroke, if we turn the eye icon on our text layer on and off, we can see that there's a stroke. But one thing I don't like is that the stroke uh, goes on the left side and the right side of the marching ant. So if you were to fill another layer um, with anything, the stroke that you just added, that was 15 pixels, that would be divided by half if you can see the marching ants are in the middle of the stroke. So anything that you fill inside them will cut the stroke in half and keep 7.5 stroke. But what we want to do is make another layer under the text layer. Go to Select, Modify, Contract. That's saying the selection that we have, we're going to modify it. And then we're going to contract it and make it smaller. We're going to click 4 pixels. That should be that should be good enough. There you go. Now you can see that whatever we're going to... Um, Fill with the um, fill in the marching ants. It's still going to keep that thick stroke, maybe a pixel off, 14 stroke. That's not bad. Then we're going to take our gradient tool, and we're gonna we're just gonna drag a gradient. Make sure on that blank layer under APUG effects. So we can do it this way, or you can do it the other way. I'm just gonna do it this way. And there we go. And we're gonna click that to overlay again. Not a really. Whoops. Not Control Z. Hold on. Let's go back to overlay, and then. We're going to come in to press Control D, which will deselect the marching ants. It really multiplies this uh, rainbow effect. And of course, we can turn the opacity down and mess around with that. And there we go. That's basically it. But we're still not done. We're going to add a outer glow around APUGFX, the black stroke, because I'm not sure if you can see on this on your screen, the quality is not as good as, as, as what I see right now. The X, you know, I can't really see it because of the blue, dark colors. So we're going to click layer four. Whoops. We're going to click layer four. And click the FX button. Go to Outer Glow. We're going to change the Outer Glow to white. I don't know why there's yellow. Um, and we're just going to mess around with the options. Change the size up. That should be fun. Now you can really see the X. Next, uh, we can delete the top two layers. My bad. I guess you didn't really need those you know, those top two layers. This is what your layer plan panel should look like. Take a look at that. Copy it. Um, and the next thing that we're going to do is liquify. You can press Control shift x or just go to Filter. Well, let's make sure we have our text layer. Uh, Control shift x or um, uh, Filter Liquify. Make sure you have the black stroke layer with Outer Glow. And next thing we're going to do is just mess around with it a little bit. Change it up. Oh, that's a little too much. I want to want to keep it readable still. Maybe, you know, move this around. Maybe pop a little of that. That's good. And there we go. Now it looks not only is the background filled with smoke, and it's also a rainbow cool effect. You have the APUG effects filled with a smoky liquid uh, effect. So, and that's basically how you get this rainbow color, uh, rainbow effect. Um, basically, you can do anything um, with this rainbow thing. On my next tutorial, tutorial, I'll show you another use of this, of these, this rainbow overlay gradient trick. And be sure to comment, rate, subscribe as always, and message to all Modern Warfare 2 players out there. We're hosting a 10th Prestige lobby tomorrow, Sunday, March 31st. No, March, March 21st. Um, from 4 o'clock to 6.30 uh, p.m. If you want in, please send me a message on my gamer tag, which is APU913, all caps. Um, yep, have a nice day. Yo dick, went straight to DVD My dick, bigger than a bridge
Yo, dick. Look like a little kid.